In today's tip, I'm going to give you some time-saving techniques in learning how to fill out online forms using only your keyboard and not having to reach for the mouse every time you need to type something new in an online form. So here we're going to start with a basic form I found on REI's website. I have to click once to get this process started. So I'm going to click into prefix, choose a prefix. All I need to do is push tab on the keyboard and I immediately get to the next field where I can type in the first name, push tab again, you see it moved my cursor over to the middle initial, push tab again, I get my last name, push tab again, I'm in the phone number section, push tab again, etc. One thing you'll notice is I did not put anything in the middle initial, I did not put anything in the night phone. Every website that I know of does this where there's an asterisk on the side or it'll be bold or it'll be a different color if that field is required. Do not give online forms any extra information that they don't ask for. So they asked for one phone number, that's all I gave to them, I skipped the night phone. Now, as you notice, by pushing tab to get between the different fields, I can move very quickly through the form. One common misconception about filling in online forms is that the mouse has to be physically in the box that you're typing in. And that's not true. The only thing that has to be in the box when, before you start typing is the blinking cursor. The blinking cursor is in the box that you need to type in. The mouse can be anywhere else on the page. And thus, another reason not to use the mouse as you're filling in forms, because I can simply push the tab on my keyboard, as I'm doing here, and I can type in the fields I need. And then once I reach the State tab, so I put Green Bay there, so I'm pretending I'm living in Wisconsin. All in, instead of reaching for the mouse, clicking in the box, scrolling through and finding the W. All I need to do is when I'm in the green bay, push tab one time, you can see the gray box around state. Push W on the keyboard, it immediately brings me to the first W in the list. Then I push W again and again and I finally get Wisconsin. So when you reach a field that has choices, instead of using your mouse, just simply push the first letter of the choice that you need over and over until you get the, the uh, choice you want. Once I've selected that with my keyboard, I push tab again and I'm in the zip code. If I tab down here to my credit card, and if I'm using MasterCard, I don't have to click anywhere. Just push the M on my keyboard and I'm already in the MasterCard. While we're talking about filling in online forms, one other form that we interact with constantly is the address bar in our web browsers. Many, many times I see people click in the web browser address bar and then they backspace out very carefully back to the WW and then they type in the site that they want to reach and then they push enter or they click over to the go on their browser. Works fine, nothing wrong with that, but if you want to make it quick, you don't need to go through that extra hassle of pushing the backspace five or six times or carefully highlighting the area that you want to delete. Instead, click one time in the address bar. So all I have to do is type in the middle part of the website. So if I want to go to, for example, CNN, I can just type in CNN, hit Control Enter, and it'll automatically in, enter in the HTTP www.com for me. Another little quick shortcut is click one time. Anything I start typing replaces the typing that's there. So no need to go up there and carefully backspace out and leave the HTTP and the WWW in. Just simply click, type, and go. Don't be fiddling around with your other keys on your keyboard.